what's it like being here? I mean, you guys, you know, highest to highs most of the season, you know, maybe a couple of scares along the way, but is Ohio State going to be the one? Or are they going to be the two? And then the rivalry game happens, and then everybody's ready to sell on you guys, and you guys get in. I mean, what what has that journey been like? Yeah, you know, like you said, it's been a roller coaster ride, you know, throughout the season. And, uh, you know, right now, uh, we're just putting all that stuff in the past, you know, the highs and the lows, because uh, we know that, you know, we're competing for a chance to go to the national championship uh, against a phenomenal team in Georgia. So, uh, you know, the past month has been strictly about about Georgia taking care of business here and playing as hard as we can and trying to execute uh, Saturday night. Everybody wants to talk about the Georgia defense, but the Georgia offense is really good too. Top 10 in a lot of categories, top yeah. five a lot of categories. What, maybe what surprised you the most once you went from maybe just watching them on like TV, like on some slow time, to when you really started like looking at the film? Yeah, you know, I think uh, they, do a, uh, they do a great job of, uh, of uh, flipping formations and motioning uh, pre-snap, I think, to try to you know pick up what, what kind of coverage the defense could be running and seeing the alignment. And, uh, you know, they do a great job of getting their, their own line in space and uh, getting the ball to their playmakers. You know, obviously Brock Bowers is one of the best tight ends uh, in college football. And Stetson Bennett's a phenomenal player, too. And so, uh, you know, I think they do a great job schematically in what they do. Um, I, when I was writing a story about Darnell Washington, I said, imagine Zach Harrison being out there playing tight end, but just even a little taller than Zach. I yeah. mean, I mean, what, what kind of thought is that? Because all of you guys, you know, you go, you're probably the best player on your team, probably the best player in your league. And, you know, you get this guy like, you know, you, I mean, so you're playing both ways. So you know what it's like to play offense and defense, but what... To see out of a guy like that. Yeah, I mean, he's just like I say, he's a great athlete, obviously, and uh, you know they get him, they, they use him in a lot of great ways. I think he's used really well, along with Brock Bowers. They do a great job of getting those guys chances to get the ball and in situations that you know are advantageous for them. And so uh, you know, just watching the film, you know, he's a you know, like you said, he's he's like and then it's taller than Zach, and you know, playing tight end, he's a big dude, big right. real big dude, and uh, he's so athletic too. Uh, that you just got to be aware of those tight ends and uh, you know at all times on the field. When you see you know when you see a jumbo athlete like that, just, do you ever have any moments you're like I could do that? You know, I mean, I, <laughs> I don't need I, I don't need to do this on the regular, but you know, maybe maybe a play or two. I mean, the the fridge rushed in a touchdown back in the '85 uh, Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean, I think. Uh, you know, when you see guys like J.J. Watt, who, you know, sometimes used to catch passes uh, in the end zone on the goal line, you know, it looks enticing for sure. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I love playing defense more than offense. That's why I chose to play, to play defense in when I was in high school. Uh, so, you know, I know I'm on the right side of the ball. You look at yourself now and you look back at when you first got to Ohio State. I mean, just how have you grown as a football player? Uh, yeah, I think uh, you know, I think I've grown you know tremendously as a football player since I've been there. Obviously, physically, and uh, my football IQ has gone up. And uh, so, yeah, I think just as a whole, you know, when you look back at when I first got there to where I'm at now, I've came a long way already. And uh, along with the other guys in my class too, you know, my teammates have came a long way. You know, when you think about Mike Hall and Ty Leak and JT and the kids I came in with. Uh, you know, how much they've excelled, how much they've gotten better too. It's just tremendous to watch and look back on now. The, you know, watch film from our freshman year to now. Uh, it's just, you know, it's funny to watch. I mean, obviously, you know, nobody wants to, like, you know, bypass any of their teammates, but Jack Sawyer, JT Tuomolo out. You know, you guys have kind of been linked together as just this next wave, even though you guys are becoming elder statesmen rapidly on the, on the defense. I mean, what's yeah. it like? You know, being this, you know, two, you know, two defensive stars being kind of like, you know, one package. Yeah, you know, we uh, we love that. We, you know, but we really, me and JT and uh, Ty League and Mike and the rest of the guys now, we're all, you know, we all think that as a whole group, you know, we're special. And we don't try to look at it as if, you know, one guy with another guy or, you know, one dude in particular, you know, we're, that's why I love this unit so much is it's all about, you know, the team, it's all about the family. And, uh, you know, we're all about each other, and that makes it fun to play. 
My sources have told me some things about racing last night. Uh, who the best driver was? Yep. Who the worst driver was? First of all, how was it for you? Was it was it any more harrowing than going down 270 at like late at night? You know, out there on the <laughs> yeah. east side. Yeah, no, it was fun. I mean, I love go karting. I've uh, I've go karted a few times. You know, growing up, and uh, you know, always driving golf carts or something like that, racing with my friends growing up. So. Uh, it was fun to get back out there and you know go kart against you know my brothers on the team, uh, you know like a bunch of guys are really good too. That's the thing. Like these guys are good. Uh, they definitely go karted before, and uh, you know after you know you finish the race, we're all going up to the screen seeing who had the fastest lap. I think I was top five, so that's all that matters. Uh, you know the weight distribution with those little guys might have helped them out a little bit. Is what I say, but. Uh, it was fun, man. Just getting out there and competing. You know, we, you know, this is what I've noticed about this team is any chance these guys have to compete, you know, we're going to compete. So uh, it just makes everything that much more fun. So are you saying it wasn't fair that EA put up faster time just because he's a smaller guy than you? Yeah, exactly. That's that, that's the excuse I'm going to use. So. And then I also heard that that Enoch was kind of dangerous out there in terms of being so slow. That he really, was, I didn't know that. I yeah. wasn't in his group, so we all had different time slots too. So you didn't really get to see everybody out there at the same time. Was there anybody that you really just? I'm like, I gotta beat, I gotta beat this guy. I mean, he's been chirping at me, he's been chirping at me. I gotta, I gotta beat this guy. Oh, uh, that's a good question. It'd probably be. Uh, you know what? Honestly, no, no. We kind of all were just having fun with it, talking trash to each other before we got out there. So I couldn't really pinpoint one one person in particular. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate it.